Hey guys, welcome to Specflow Tutorial Behavior Driven Development Session 4. In today's session, you can learn what is Scenario Outline and how we can implement Scenario Outline with the help of Example Keyword from Jarkins. So in the real time, right, so you can have same scenario, right, and the same scenario need to execute with multiple variation of the data. Suppose I am giving a simple example of an e-commerce site. So in the e-commerce site, right, you need to search different product, right, whenever you want to uh, kind of uh, book the product or make the payment, right. So you need to search them first. So your some steps will be common, right, so that you need to log into that website, then you need to give the valid credential after that home page, you need to click on the search button and there you will be just go with the different product. You can go with man apparel, women's apparel, kids apparel, right? You can go with the shoes, you can go with the cooking utensils, right? You can go with the electronic product like that. And after that, once you hit the search button, so relevant information will be displayed, right? So here, only your product is just changed, getting changed. And product can be combination, right? So that men's, then apparel, women's, uh, then shoes, right? The kids, the footwear, or kids stop, right? Or the electronics go with the different variety right so that you can have some sort of right differences and maybe the product type and the product uh, other details right so otherwise the remaining theme will be common in nature so in, in case you need to just add 10 product right so definitely you no need to create the 10 scenario so instead of that you'll be creating a scenario and whenever wherever that you will be varying the data you can just right vary it so cucumber is having those features so scenario includes all possible circumstances of the features and test script for these circumstances the keyword scenario represent a scenario in jarkin language one feature can have multiple scenario and each scenario consists of one or more step <coughs> so specflow scenario outline in jarkin based in jarkin based on jarkin reference the scenario outline keyword can be used to repeat the same steps with different values or argument being passed to the step definition. This is helpful if user want to test multiple argument in the same scenario. <coughs> so this will be applicable in case you want to test multiple scenario with varying data in the same feature file. <coughs> so when to use scenario outline user want their scenario outline to describe behavior or example that are important to business not detail every boundary or test case adding too many rows simply create more work and obscures where the value is to the business so all scenario are followed by example part that contain the set of data that has to be passed during the execution of the test so you can use the pipe symbol right to specify one or more parameter value in the features file through which you can just in case you are having three parameter you want to change three parameters so you can use three right so in a single execution scenario is executed only once whereas scenario outline for similar data types can be executed multiple times depending upon the data provider as part of the example so we'll see in the real time how we can implement scenario outline and example in the spec flow. <coughs> so in the last session, we have created google.features file, right? Where we have implemented the background for the common step and we are having two scenario, right? So as part of the scenario steps, right? You could see here the three step is common, but where we are changing only one keyword for two step is which is Java. Similarly, here only spec flow, otherwise the remaining thing is common. So tomorrow in case you want to search with other called, right, already, uh, maybe uh, like test engine, selenium, other thing, right, python. But so your only two thing will be changing it here. So, right, whenever you are just navigating to the Google homepage in the text box, you are just changing that word and hitting the enter. So based on the keyword, right, you are getting the relevant tutorial result. So only two thing is getting changed. So how I can write combine or write all the scenario in a single scenario and I will run 
based on the varying the data so what is the approach i need to follow so i will be taking the help from the scenario outline and then example keyword right so in the scenario i can change instead of search java tutorial i can change something that search in google home page with different keyword right so i can search the different keyword okay then what i need to do instead of scenario i need to make it scenario outline any right so that part once part is done so instead of scenario i am just making it scenario outline so the same scenario i want to repeat it multiple times so i can remove one scenario here right so that i my keyword is spec flow only right so i will remove it here in case my step is common right and there whatever keyword you want to change right that part you can just change here with that particular syntax so suppose say keyword name right at but i can change it so here i will just varying the keyword so i can copy it and in here it will be also different right so it will be also i am just changing it to keyword name same parameter and i can close it so that two part is done so this is my varying parameter then what how you can implement it scenario outline so you need to take help from the example keyword you could see that is coming examples right and then here you need to use the pipe separator so that is the pipe separator right and in the first row you need to give that header that will be your parameter in case you are having multiple parameter right so you can do it also right here same way you can just give another name suppose say test in case you are having in the real time right so you can do it like that but here we are having only one parameter right so we will be having right only one parameter so that will be enclosed with the pipe separated now you can just vary the parameter value right first one will be your header where you need to give the parameter name and here it will be value right how many time you want to iterate the same scenario so first time i will be want to iterate with the java right and second time i want to iterate with the spec flow okay so you need to check whether this thing is there or not the same way what also spec flow keyword otherwise your thing will not match right your step will not match okay exact what you need to give it spec flow right now you can see how easily we have able to create two scenario right with the help of scenario outline and example keyword so whatever thing were varying it that will be here with that bucket and then the, you, in the example you need to create that way how many parameter you want to use it in your scenario the first row will be your parameter name and from the second row onward it will be the value right so now you can save it and now you can try to run your test case and let's see how easily i mean there will be no impact at all in the test cases but how easily you can create multiple scenario with the help of the scenario outline and the examples so it will try to run all the scenario from both the pictures file so in the facebook there is one scenario so that will not be impacted because there we did not implemented the scenario outline but for the other one we have implemented it right so now you could see here the facebook part there is no change right it is working as per the thing for the second features file which is the google search page you could see now the scenario is common right what is the scenario it is common scenario name is common right you could see now it got changed search google home page with different keyword right that is the scenario got changed you could see now right one thing is coming java is getting changed and the spec flow is getting changed. you can in case you are having multiple argument or the parameter you can change it also accordingly so that value also will get changed now you could see the google home page is open for that spec flow right 
and such text box is enabled it is coming from the both the uh, background part and then user search with the course called spec flow tutorial right it is also updating accordingly and then enter button and then it is coming a spec flow tutorial and for the other one java you could see it is take changing with java and here the all the related courses also is changing with java so that is the way right you could create one time but the next time onward right in case you want to just right do one more iteration right so just simply you can add that value suppose say I want to search with selenium so I'll be simply adding one more row but in case you are adding one more row definitely there will be two more steps as will be added right that is the reason it is changing the color right so I need to right define the step for the selenium search also in the existing class so you could see define step and you could see this is the new step will be added here you need to add because these two steps are undefined so you can click copy to clipboard option and you can go to that step definition class and you can add these two, two step here so that there will be no error at all right you can just simply and you can remove that part you can remove that part now you can save it so in the google features file now right the same scenario is there but i want to iterate for one more time so definitely two new step will be coming in right and i need to implement in the step definition class so that is the way so today you need to iterate for three times right tomorrow you need to iterate for 10 times so just simply you can add it and in case you are having multiple parameters so you can add it add it here right and the parameter names in the first row and the parameter value will be in the second row onward right okay that is the way you can right create scenario outline with the help of example so the beauty is that the same scenario will be executed multiple time with the different variety of the data and in case you need to change anything in your scenario right you can only just update one time right now let's try to run it now we are having three scenario here right in the google.pictures file so definitely it will, it will generate three uh, scenario report accordingly right so it will change to four total count will be four here now let's see whether it's running properly or not so it will open the first the facebook pictures file where only one scenario is there and the steps also defined so it will try to execute it and then as part of the google features file now you could see three different scenario got executed but scenario name is same but here you could see the argument is passing is different right one is java one is selenium and one is spec flow based on the alphabetical order it is executing right for the java you could see this is java tutorial this is java tutorial for the selenium you could see now it's got changed to selenium tutorial and again selenium tutorial for the spec flow you could see the spec flow tutorial and then also spec flow tutorial so that is the way right with the help of right scenario outline and that key example right you can right vary different kind of uh, parameter and you can add the value accordingly so first row in the example section always will be your header right whichever parameter you want to value it and from the second row onward it will be your corresponding value so you can add any number of rows so in case you want to write execute 20 times so you need to you will be having total 21 row so first row will be your header and right remaining 20 row will be your corresponding value so that same scenario you can execute in multiple time based on the right value or row you, are you want to iterate so that's all from today's session thank you